Good morning, everyone. So something I thought I would bring up, uh, and this is probably going to go into uh, off the beaten path, um, business insights and ideas. Um, if you're a small business, uh, like we uh, do things here, um, we don't really track time. We really should, but we don't, uh, simply because most everything is on a flat rate. Um, you know, if you drop off your computer for a repair, it's like $100. If we come to you, it's 125 except for with the pandemic in place, we've knocked off the trip fee. Um, so yeah, um, most everything we do is kind of, it's a flat rate regardless of how much time we spend on it. But, you know, you still might want to track how much time you're spending on projects so you can better judge how you're doing things. Um, usually for us, total physical labor time to fix a computer is about four to five hours. Um, and that kind of kind of comes as a surprise because we asked for 72. A lot of the time that we're doing is we'll start a diagnostic program. That diagnostic program will sit there and run unattended. I mean, we can see the screens. They're right in front of me. We can see the screens. We can watch what it's doing. But we're not physically pushing buttons or clicking on the mouse. Um, so, I mean, our physical labor time where we're actually doing something um, that involves brain um, usually about four to five hours per service call. So that's the reason why we charge a hundred dollars. Um, so, but every business is different. Um, should you really be keeping track of time for time management purposes? Sure. Um, like I said, on average, we're four to five hours, but every company is a little bit different. Um, some places time management is going to be more important. Some, uh, you know, some places time management is less important. Um, retail, as long as you're physically seeing the stuff that's being done, obviously, you know, if you ask an employee to go put up a display, you know, normally it takes an hour, it takes some, an hour and 15 minutes, you know, that's acceptable. Um, if you're in a production setting, um, like one of the many plastic plants around here or like Whirlpool, you could physically, you know how many parts that machine can put out in an hour um, and then how many, you know, you, you know, um, for time management, you know uh, what can be done. But for those of you who are more in the service industry uh, and you have billable time, so this is going to be like your accountants, your attorneys, people like me, um, where you're doing more time management than anything, then you need a, probably you need a program that'll help you with this. Now, there are a whole bunch of them out there that are not free. They cost you a whole bunch of money. Um, they're good programs. Uh, customer or client relationship management, uh, CRMs, uh, a lot of them have, you know, you can put in schedules for so on and, you know, for follow with a client, put this in time management. I've got a couple of attorney's offices that use a website called Clio. Very good, very detailed. Um, you know, and it can, it can track time down to the minute. Um, but if you're a smaller office like us, we only have two people here. Um, maybe you don't have the finances to, to pay for a CRM. Um, there is one that advertises it's free. Uh, I've kind of looked at it. It gives you the basics, but all the good stuff is behind a paywall. Yeah, uh, not exactly free, is it? <clears throat> so sometimes you got to do it yourself. So here's a thought with Google Drive. And again, you know, I'm a Google fan with Google Drive. You can go in and create a form. You can then use that form to track time management. Now, this is just a simple form. The nice thing about this is if you bookmark this on your Google Chrome and you're using the sync, um, then you can open it up on your phone too, um, or your tablet, provided those phones and tablets have those um, accounts on it. Or you could send this in an email to other employees. Uh, that way, as they're doing projects, they could click on this form, putting the time information in as you need it. But time management, like I said, for the most part, for a lot of businesses is important. And sometimes you want to track it a little more um, in detail. Uh, that way you can see what's going on, where you can improve, what things and, and you know, things you can change to improve uh, your proficiency. So this is just a general form I put together. Um, 
like I said, I don't use a whole lot of time management tracking because, you know, it's just me and my wife. I can usually do a pretty good job to it, but if I needed to do this um, later on, I could certainly do this, obviously. So I would just, you know, create a form on Google Drive. Uh, we're going to call it, in this particular case, time management form. You know, it's for tracking billable time for clients. You would put in the name of the client, the project you're working on, um, and that would be a required field. So. Um, the name of the client obviously is required, the, the project you're working on required. Now this is where I left these as not required because you could do time, uh, time you started say, you know, it was, and I'll show the form live here in a minute, time you started so you could start at like 8.05 in the eight in the morning and you might not get back to this form until like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So the time start and time ended are not because they'll show up in the journal entry twice and I'll show you that later and then details of the job you did um, you know kind of important in that way uh, and then responses uh, again I tell people I did it as a spreadsheet that way you can see the information and you can sort it and so on and so forth but that's how I did it so um, so let's take this uh, to a look and see how it works let's grab the web link and we're going to shorten it so we can see what this looks like live. Copy, close, kill this, kill this, and we're gonna paste it and go. So this would be the form that's live. Um, and like I said, you could say name of the client. So this would be like client A. <laughs> I know, an original name, right? Um, the name of your project, you know, computer repair. Um, a lot of the times I'll have work number or work invoices, uh, work order forms, but I don't have a work order number. Same with invoices. I don't generally in generate invoices until um, after we've done everything. So I could just put computer repair. Of course, you know, if I can spell today, that would be greatly appreciated. So we're going to say we started at, do, 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 say nine. 53 a.m. Started repair. We can submit this. And then what, you know, it sits there. So you can submit another form. And this is kind of important, especially if you're doing, and you know, you might want to put another form in there, or another question in there, name of technician or employee or whatever, so you know which employees are doing what. Then you can go back, say, submit another form, it starts the form again. So it would be like client A, I know, orig original, right? Uh, computer repair. And since we've already started it, we're not gonna put a start time in there, but we're gonna put an ending time. And let's say we ended it at 12, 47. And that's going to be PM. Please do me a favor, for the love of God, educate your educate your people on time. <laughs> and the only reason why I say that is, whoever is reviewing this, um, if they don't know the difference between AM and PM, you'd be surprised how many people don't. Um, noon is PM. I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen noon as an AM. You worked on this for 18 hours? No. Um, you know, just make sure they're aware of it. And then say project complete. Wow, fingers want to type different words. And we'll submit it. So the person who's doing the review then can go into Drive and look at the actual spreadsheet. And this one. And so, you know, there's the date and times. And the, the nice thing about this is, you know, this way, if these numbers are a little bit off here, you know, it's no big deal if they're a little bit off. Um, but they're, if they're off by a lot, then you might want to question, you know, why they're off. This in this particular case is like two hours. Um, why did you record this two hours later? I forgot. That's probably going to be your most common one. But there you go. This way you could look at this and say, okay, they started at 930, the end of here. I uh, started the project and complete that to die.
time management. This way you can see, you know, if you're definitely forcing this onto your um, employees, you at least get a better idea of what they're doing. Um, it just, and, and it's really not that hard to create this form um, in Google Drive. And like I said, you just have to remember to make them do it. And like I said, they could, if they've got the link, they could do it on their phone. They could do it on their tablet. They could do it on their computer. Um, if you really had to, you could probably print off the form and have them do it paper, but you know, recycled photons versus recycled paper, recycled photons are better. So, uh, yeah. So just a quick way of doing time management and this will go on for as long as you want it to go on. Uh, and then you can go and delete it later or, um, edit it later. It's, you know, you can add some formulas to the backside here to calculate time manually, you know, automatically for you. Um, you can sort it, you know, I put client A, uh, but you, then you can sort it by client. You can sort it by date and time. Um, kind of helps that way to, that way you know who's doing what. If, if I had thought about putting the employee in here, you can then sort by employee. Um, that way it kind of gives you a good idea um, of who's doing what, when and where. And this option is free. It just takes you a little bit of time to set up the form and like I said, you might have to modify the form as you're using it to, like I said, I forgot to put employee. Um, so this might be a way of just basic time management for your staff. Um, that way you can see who's doing what, uh, when they're doing it, how much their time, how much time they're actually doing on it. And then you can use that information for better management skills later on. Um, like I said, might not work for production obviously because if a machine is making parts you know how many parts that machine will make and you know you know roughly if they're doing packing work you know how many parts can go in a package and how many boxes are in a skid and so on and so forth same with like whirlpool you know you can pop in 17 circuit boards a minute however i've been in whirlpool a hundred times to fix things and i still have, have no idea because you, there's never <laughs> that place is so big um it literally takes me 10 minutes to walk to the dungeon as i refer to it which is the basement where i usually have to go um but yeah it's so big i i have no idea but like i said you you're popping on parts you're putting in screws you're riveting stuff there so for for whirlpool time management like that would be because you're doing production by part um but for for people like who are in the service industry, like I said, who are doing consulting, who are doing, um, you know, billing that is by time, um, this might be a way of tracking uh, your employee's time uh, and what they're doing and how they're doing it. And then, like I said, you can use this for employee reviews later. You could do this for, you know, what can we do to improve uh, efficiency and, you know, and productivity. Um, it's a nice little, you tool to have and like I said you could do this with Google Drive um, Google Drive will let you do a lot of things you just have to be kind of creative about it so anyways hopefully that helps you if you did find it useful please like share and subscribe down below to the right give it a thumbs up um, like I said and subscribe click the bell if you would like to get notices or just subscribe is fine. I need to get those numbers up. Uh, if you don't have a Google account, if it's telling you sign in, you can find us over on Facebook. There's our address. You can look us up there. Computer questions, uh, need help, give us a call. We'll, we'll work with you and get it all taken care of. So you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.